A touch point is any time uh, two or more people get together to have an interaction to move something forward in a quality way. Someone stops you in the hall and says, I have a question. That's a touch point. You have an opportunity to engage with them, to answer the question and help them advance their day, or you have an opportunity to shut them down completely and disengage them so that they're not fully engaged. But you have an opportunity to set the tone for the day for that person at that moment. When I say the words, you can't talk your way out of something you behaved your way into, you have to behave your way out of it. To me, that means that people are looking to you, they're watching what you do, not just what you say. The world is filled with people who are talking about doing things, and there are only a few people who are actually getting them done. Do what you say you're gonna do, and you can't talk your way out of bad behavior. When I, when I talk about, uh, bringing a strategy to life, I have found that in my corporate work in particular, strategies abound for doing all kinds of extraordinary things. But the people that work in the community of that company uh, need to find a way to act on the strategy to bring it to life for the customers they're serving. So uh, having a, a good strategy is wonderful but it's all about how you execute that strategy in everyday life. There's a fellow named Neil McKenna who was my outplacement counselor when I was fired from my job about 25, 28 years ago. He passed away about a decade ago. He became my mentor and one of my best friends. Uh, as he counseled me in outplacement, I found that every time he met with me, he showed up with a how can I help mentality that was second to none. He was there for me, he was there for me completely. I was determined after that that I wanted to be that kind of person with the people with whom I lived and worked. It was the best way for me to pay forward the honor that he had shown me. For me, the metaphor that works most clearly when I work with other people is this fire hydrant of life concept where we all feel as if the cap has been taken off the fire hydrant and the water is just spilling over us. It's all the emails, text messages, calls, all the backlog and voicemail, all the people that want to meet with us to do something and want us to do something for them. We are all overwhelmed by all this stuff that is washing over us. A lot of this fire hydrant of life stuff is not important. And the way I set priorities is it's built around the people that I think are most important in my, on my life journey. I will drop other things, I will stop other things in order to make time for them if they call or they need me. And it also is around important projects or tasks that I have at hand. It's all about recognizing that we're all facing this fire hydrant of life phenomena that just is not going, going to go away. We have to embrace it.